What's up, everybody? Check this interaction out from Alex Brosh. Sorry, I'm going to screw up your name. <laughs> but I saw this yesterday and I was like, wow, how did he make that? Is it through actual 3D tools or is it through AI? I, what is it? So I kind of came up with my own idea and I wanted to recreate the workflow that might result in this or might not. And I came up with this right here. So I'm going to click play. Check this out. So this is working on web and it literally just breaks apart this kind of like monolith. And I wanted to show you how I did this through this time-lapse breakdown. So the first thing I did is hopped into, um, what was it figma and in order to create a rough shape of a monolith and i told it to add my logo it screwed up the logo the design course logo so i had to reprompt it several different times in order to to get you know a result that i liked and eventually i was like don't include the logo just give me the the monolith structure which is what you see there and i integrated it myself with photoshop which is what you're seeing here and just using you know, the simple emboss technique so this is just one of the manual parts where we're not relying on AI to do anything for us. So then isolate it, bring it into Rive, and in Rive, I'm adding just a shadow here, and really, this is where we add the logo, and I wanted to create a hover interaction. So this is what you're seeing here. I'm kind of making it, you know, kind of like glow blue when somebody hovers over that little monolith kind of had this little um, effects where they're going to rotate around like this little glow effect essentially. And you're gonna see that moving around here in a second. And essentially what we're doing in this process here within Rive is we're gonna have a Rive overlay with this monolith graphic where you can hover over it. You'll see some text show up as well because I wanted to make it feel like a more you know, full UI. And then what we do is you'll see I take a screenshot of the hovered state of that monolith and we feed it into Kling AI in order to animate it. And then we step into Visual Studio Code and cursor rather to essentially coordinate basically when the Rive canvas element is clicked, then it will show and bring back the opacity of a video overlay of a video embed in HTML, which will be seated perfectly in the same position as the monolith graphic in Rive, and then it will play the video. And that, that way, we have an interactive kind of like little scenario where we can then really shift and shape the UI in some way, shape, or form. In this case, it's gonna be the monolith destructing and falling onto rocks under the ground. What would the use case for this be? I don't know, but trust me, there's many ways to be created with this. So what you're seeing me do here is trying to get the interactivity working as I hover over this. And there's that part where I screenshotted it. And you're gonna see here in Kling, I paste it in and I say tombstone, deconstructs or breaks apart and falls to the ground and the ca camera is stationary look at this that is sick that is pretty close to what i wanted and so you'll see me here refreshing a bunch of times trying to get this uh integrated properly uh, unfortunately i didn't record the video where i was prompting cursor but as you can see the video was overlaid successfully when i clicked on it and it was just a matter of really getting it positioned correctly. So I put like half opacity on the video overlay. And so I could, that, that way I could adjust the CSS values in real time in order to get it matched up perfectly. And it did work. So right here, I'm just kind of adding like a little power pulse click thing that kind of expands out after it's clicked in order to kind of just further further make it feel like it's a much more interactive experience as kind of as you've seen there although i don't like that version i end up changing that up a bit and there we go basically that is it here is the end result and as you can see you can add some um sound in it to make it sound even more interesting i also wanted to share with you 
three projects that I recently created, and these are gonna be covered in this month's project-based course, and they're all skeuomorphic designs in Rive. So check out this one, it's kind of like a light temperature, kind of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, visualizer in a sense. Uh, and then check out this one. This is one that's really cool because essentially we are interfacing with JavaScript and GreenSock animation platform and they're communicating with each other back and forth based on which of the tones is selected. And obviously there's audio with this as well. And then finally, this project right here is uh, a gun customizer and this is super fun. We use ChatGPT 4.0 to generate all the gun assets and the accessories. Then we use Rive to get everything working together with nested components and there's just so much to learn. So I'm super excited to share that with you all uh, coming here in a couple weeks. I'll see you all soon, goodbye.